Fukushima is the fire that cannot be extinguished. The invisible fire is burning. But now WikiLeaks documents have been released. Many, many documents pulling over the cesium contamination in beef and cattle. We're going to take a look at these WikiLeaks documents, analyze them, to see what was told at the time, not after the fact, but at the time it was happening, to get the real perspective and not some deluded argument that's been thought of to get your eyes off of Fukushima. People around you are getting cancer, heart attacks, strokes. Excessive levels of radioactive cesium have been found in beef in Japan Prefecture. Following shipments of the cattle, so it was already sent out and processed. Maybe it's in your beef jerky. Cesium found in hay at another farm in Fukushima. The latest check uncovered radioactive cesium measured up to 97,000 becquerels per kilogram, some 73 times the government set safety limit. Radioactive cesium far exceeding safe limits has been detected in hay feed to cattle at second farm near the crippled nuclear power plant Fukushima Prefecture. Fukushima government warned on Thursday that 42 possibly contaminated cattle have already been shipped out of the farm in a Sakawaka town. The finding came during inspections ordered by the prefecture after a large dose of the radioactive substance was found in hay at the first farm in Minimasomo City. Japan agency says high levels of cesium found in Fukushima City District. Up to 307,000 becquerels of cesium per kilogram of soil was detected on the 14th of September survey. Let me repeat, 307,000 becquerels of cesium per kilogram of soil was detected in the 14th of September. Radioactive cesium found in fish in Chikaya Port about 55 kilometers from the crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant contained radioactive cesium at levels exceeding an allowable limit. Environmental group of Greenpeace said on Tuesday, the sample taken at Onohama Port in Iwaki, Fukushima Prefecture in late July included a species of rockfish that measured 1,053 becquerel. I have a couple questions to fire back at his analysis. We know that at least one of the reactors used mix oxide fuel, NOx fuel. Does that in any way adjust your analysis? Now that these facilities have multiple problems, including containment breach, what are your thoughts about the personal limitations? What happens if there are simply too many things to do? We know that electrical supply is extremely limited. So technicians at one point yesterday had to cut power to the number one and number three in order to try to prevent a blowout at two. Let's assume that for whatever reason, this is left largely unattended. What is the worst case scenario? Because of the impromptu nature of our intel gathering efforts at the time, please do not redistribute this document. This is for internal purposes only. This is a compilation of all the reliable insight we've seen on the nuclear reactors. Potential radioactive beef shipped to 35 Japan prefectures. The latest findings show that a total of 143 cows exposed or suspected of having been exposed to radioactive cesium were already shipped to customers. Japan suspends beef cow shipments from Owada prefecture amid radiation fears. The Japanese government on Monday ordered the suspension of all shipments of beef cattle from Uwadi Prefecture after a number of cattle 
Raised there were found to be contaminated with radioactive cesium. Radiation fallout from the Rex Fukushima nuclear power plant poses a growing threat to Japan's food chain, as unsafe levels of cesium found in beef on supermarket shelves were also detected in more vegetables and the ocean. More than 2,600 cattle have been contaminated. Coyote News reported on July 23rd, after the Miyagi local government said 1,183 cattle at 58 farms were fed hay containing radioactive cesium before being shipped to meat markets. Agricultural Mr. Michihiki Kano had said officials don't foresee that farmers might ship containing hay to cattle ranchers. The Fukushima Prefecture Governmental Agency said a farm in the town of Asakawa shipped 42 cows to Tokyo and other places after feeding them straw containing high levels of radioactive cesium. And the Tokyo Metropolitan Government said Friday they found a high level of cesium in beef produced from some of the cattle. Miyagi Prefecture said Friday it found 3,600 becquerels of cesium per kilogram in straw. If there's cesium there, there's other isotopes present in the beef. Like my name, Stranium. The prefecture ordered about 900 farms in the prefecture not to feed their cows straw harvested after March 11. The 42 cows from Masakawi were shipped between April 8th and July 6th. Koryama, Japan. Nearly eight months after the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear accident, scattered radioactive material over surrounding communities. Japan is still struggling to figure out how to clean up the mess exacerbating fears about health risks and fanning mistrust of the government. 30 miles away from Japan's crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant, the residents of Koryama are on a mission to help rid their town of harmful radioactive materials. Wall Street Journal contributor Sebastian Stein reports, government guidelines provide scant detail about the 14 billion plus effort. A new cleanup law doesn't take effect until January. Cities across Fukushima prefecture are scrapping contaminated topsoil off school grounds and parks, but Tokyo hasn't. High levels of radioactive cesium were detected in straw, fed the Kataway farm in Minimosuma, Fukushima, Prefecture. Local officials said Monday, fueling suspicion, it was the source of the radioactive contamination found in meat of cows shipped from there. The straw, saturated with an average of 75,000 becquerels of radioactive cesium. So there's 75,000 becquerels of just cesium. What else is in that straw? How much plutonium? How much americium? That's 56 times the allowable limit of cesium. Japan has been beef shipments from Fukushima, Japan. The decision came as the nation comes to terms with the discovery that about 650 cows suspected of radioactive contamination. The destroyed Fukushima nuclear power plant in Japan was responsible for the biggest discharge of radioactive material into the ocean in history. A study from a French nuclear safety institute said, the radioactive cesium that flowed into the sea from the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant was 20 times the amount estimated by its owner. Tokyo Electric Power Company. According to a study by the Institute for Radiological Protection and Nuclear Safety, which is funded by the French government, it's the second report released in a week, calling into question estimates from Japan's government and the operator of the plant that was damaged in the March earthquake and tsunami. The Fukushima station may have emitted. Yeah, it may have emitted. That's a foregone conclusion. A hell of a lot of radiation. Japan breach, reactor breach, container Japanese reactor container breach. As the crisis continues with Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant, a variety of stratosphere nuclear science and engineering sources said Japanese government statements that the troubled Unit 1 reactor container has not been breached are highly dubious. Reports of iodine and cesium outside of the plant indicate the containment has been breached. Reports of iodine and cesium outside of the plant indicate the containment has been breached. Iodine and the fuel pins of cesium is a particulate, meaning they are heavy particles in the air, which are basically radioactive dust, which Yuriyomi Shinbun reports has been discovered in the surrounding area. It's probably a product of nuclear fission process and a strong demonstration of severe damage to the nuclear reactor's core. The fact that the government has prepared a series of iodine treatments for locals in the vicinity of the nuclear plant 
It's just this anticipating need to prevent iodine from entering the thyroid. The Japanese government says rice straw used for cattle feed contaminated with radioactive cesium has been found in 10 prefectures across the country. Beef produced from cattle feed to contaminated straw shipped out to farms has already been distributed to almost all the prefectures. Inspectors on Wednesday detected seven times the government set maximum standard level of radioactive cesium in rice straw used by a farm in Shizuoka prefecture. That pushes the number of prefectures where cattle were fed with contaminated straw to 10. Most of the rice straw in question was shipped from companies in Miyagi Prefecture, north of Fukushima, where the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant responsible for the contamination is located. Japan and the UK. High radioactivity detected in rice harvested in Japan's Fukushima city. Excessive levels of radioactive cesium have been found in rice harvested in the city of Fukushima. The Fukushima Prefecture government said on Wednesday, marking the first time such levels of the isotope have been detected in the national staple since the nuclear crisis erupted in March. The cesium in the rice samples taken out of the farm in the city measured 630 becquerels per kilogram against the provisional 500 becquerel in its steps. Dilution doesn't assert that all of it will be carried away until none is left. And it doesn't ignore bioaccumulation. It is all a question of extent and significance. And this is why we need to be talking to subject matter experts and looking at potential case studies. What levels of contamination are significant by what metrics? How concentrated versus widespread? Will the areas meanfully affected be? What does the meanfully affected mean for bioaccumulation? For spread from one end of the food chain to another? Fishing? No one is asserting that one should go swimming off the coast of Fukushima Daiichi anytime soon, but I had sushi with mercury in it for dinner last night. CNN, breaking news. Then please seek out the answers. I'm not sure what the purpose of this email was, but if you're not going to be seeking out the answers to these, what is the intent? Nate is addressing critical elements. They were not raised in your initial note. They were raised to me by a month ago when the nuke issue started. And I asked about fishing rather than back and forth with Nate in an unnecessary argument. Let's work together here. Nate was critical in our work on the P4 project, which was a months long study on nuclear issues. Do not be so sure you do not need help generating questions. You certainly may need that help. You have identified a critical issue. Now go find the answers and do it quickly so we can address it quickly. Robert Rafen Frank wrote, No shit, that's why I brought it up. I don't need help generating relevant questions, I need answers. The problem with the dilution solution is that it assumes the radioisotopes are being released in the middle of the Pacific and not close to the shore. It also ignores a well established biological phenomenon known as bioaccumulation. They say the radioactive cesium settles somewhere between 400 meters below the ocean surface. Certainly integrating that cross-sectional area across the Pacific is a massive volume with which to dilute the radioactive material. However, since it's being released from the shoreline, some of that material is going to settle on the shelf, extending from Japan's coastline. And that means it'll be in the food for the organisms that form the first links of the food chain. The whole point of dilution is that it prevents the concentration of radioisotopes in dangerous or significant concentrations, no? However, since it's being released from the shoreline, some of the material is going to sit on the shelf, extending from Japan's coastline. And that means it will be food for the organisms that form the first links of the food chain. Those isotopes therefore stand to bioaccumulate up through the food chain. That is why the bald eagles all of a sudden start dying from DDT. While an eagle doesn't eat DDT directly, they do eat rabbits and rabbits forage on a bunch of vegetables and grass sprayed with DDT. Above normal levels of radioactive cesium have also been found on live other heads of cattle from the same farm after they were brought to a slaughterhouse in Tokyo. An inspection in Sojizoko City detected 2,000 becquerels of radioactive cesium per kilogram. The government test price for radioactivity. Japanese government says the rice harvested in the coming months 
will be tested for reactivity. Baker Cultural Ministry announced at a meeting of rice farmers on Wednesday that rice growing areas with high levels of radioactive cesium in the soil will be tested both before and after harvest, and the amount of cesium in the post-harvest test exceeds the government safety level of 500 becquerels per kilogram. Shipments of rice from that area will be banned. Farmers will be obligated to dispose of the banned rice. Tokyo Electric Power Company, the owner of the Fukushima Daiichi Nuclear Power Plant, is to pay the compensation to the farmers. The government says 14 prefectures from northeastern to central Japan will be subject to the inspections. Tests will be carried out. Japanese reactor container breach. I don't agree with this analysis. Evidence of a release of radioactivity does not necessarily mean the primary containment has been lost. The national government remains reluctant to acquire land on which to build facilities for final disposal of radioactive sludge produced from the ongoing nuclear crisis. Government guidelines on how to treat dehydrated sludge containing radioactive cesium and ash from the incinerated radioactive sludge covers only temporary storage. The government said it will continue to study the matter of final disposal. One solution would be to lower the radioactive level of the contaminated sludge, but an effect method does not exist. The land, infrastructure, transport and tourism industry started to study the problem in June after establishing a panel of experts. At the Fukushima No. 1 nuclear power plant equipment, to remove radioactive substances from contaminated water. Japan plans to lift its ban on beef shipments from troubled Fukushima Prefecture. Japan plans to lift the ban on beef shipments from the troubled Fukushima Prefecture. Texts are reported in English by Japan's largest news agency, the Kyoto. Tokyo. The government plans to soon lift a ban on the shipment of beef from Fukushima and Miyagi Prefectures. In connection with the latest food scare following the discovery of radioactive cesium contaminated beef. The move follows a compilation by the Prefecture of Cattle Inspection Programs and measures to manage radioactive rice straw, which was fed. Japan. Radioactive ports and ships. Or you could write the car off. Pour the component parts until there is a real scarcity and then flog them other desperate Tokyo owners at a massive markup and buy your own new car. More seriously, the Union of Concerned Scientists backed up those numbers from the Austrian Met yesterday, although at a low confidence interval because there's still so many unknowns. They said that if you're correct, we are now starting to look at a large area that would have to be decontaminated or even condemned. Cesium has a 30 year half-life, so any condemnation wouldn't be short term. So 30 year half-life, you have to do 30 times 10, there's about 10 half-lives before it's to a very small number of where it was originally. That's 300 years the cesium will be poisoning that environment at a high level. The iodine decays much quicker, but it is more of an immediate health risk. As you know, the quicker the half-life, the more energy and power it has. Basically what you're telling me is that my Corolla is never getting fixed because we won't be able to import the parts. Dr. Edward Lehman, nuclear physicist, Global Security Program, Union of Concerned Scientists. This was the sixth day of the updates given by the UCS. These notes are pulled from the call transcripts to ensure completeness. Tokyo, excessive levels of highly toxic strontium have been detected in seawater and groundwater in Japan's Fukushima Daiichi nuclear complex. The plant operator said Monday the development suggests an increased risk of radioactive contamination further entering the food chain, also underscoring the difficulties of trying to stabilize the stricken facility. Operator Tokyo Electric Power Company said six more workers have received more than the permitted annual emergency levels of radioactive exposure. The strontium-89 and strontium-90 isotopes of leaves will have been released from the damaged reactors when the fuel cores overheated and melted after the March 11th earthquake and tsunami. Meltdown at the quake-damaged Japanese plant. My context says that iodine is in the fuel pins. Cesium is a particulate. 
says the presence of iodine and cesium outside the plant definitely demonstrates that there is a breach of the containment structures. There's a breach. They didn't bury it. Maybe in the ocean. Red alert. Red alert. Nuclear meltdown the quake damaged Japanese plant. The goal here is very practical. Identify our mistakes and correct them. We don't need each letter specified. Just a report of what we got wrong. When you're done, which should be done soon. Marco Primorac. My contact says that iodine is in the fuel pins. Cesium is a particulate that stays in the presence of iodine. And cesium outside the plant definitely demonstrates that there is a breach in containment. Japan to buy and burn radioactive tainted beef. Japan announced a plan under which beef tainted with radiation from the Fukushima nuclear disaster will be bought up and burnt in a move aimed at restoring consumer confidence. So what do you think happens when the beef is burnt? Well, obviously, the isotopes will be released in the smoke and the ash. Almost 3,000 cattle whose meat is feared to be contaminated with radioactive cesium have been shipped nationwide. After being flood straw exposed to fallout during more than four months of the old nuclear crisis. Agriculture Minister Michoko Kano said the plant operator Tokyo Electric Power Company would ultimately have to pick up the bill, which media reports said may come up to 2 billion yen. We are aiming to eradicate consumer worry and restore their confidence in beef, an official at the Ministry of Beef and Poultry Division told the AFP. Japan's nuclear mishap among worst ever. Nothing on Japanese government statements, however, Joseph Sirisong of the Plowshares Fund told CNN that Fukushima, I could go from a partial meltdown of the core to a full meltdown. CCM demonstrates a partial meltdown underway. Japan's nuclear mishap among worst ever. As US nuclear experts said, the accident of Japanese nuclear reactor is one of the three worst in history. Well, it's number one worst times a thousand. Okay? It could become a complete disaster if it goes into full meltdown. This is going to go down history of one of the greatest nuclear incidents if it doesn't stop now. Joseph Cicerone, the head of the South Shares Fund. If it continues, if they don't get control of this, and we go from a partial meltdown on the court to a full meltdown, Japan. Small amounts of radioactive substances found in breast milk in Japan. That's right. Newborns be drinking radioactive milk out of their mom's nips. Small amounts of radioactive substances found in breast milk in Japan. What's well, only a small amount, you know? But as you know, babies grow fast. And the faster a person grows, the more likely a mutation can happen when there's disturbances inside of the cell. Minute amounts of radioactive substances have been found in the breast milk of five women in Tokyo and two other prefectures more than a month after the crippled nuclear power plant in Fukushima Prefecture began leaking such materials. A citizens group survey showed on Wednesday of, 70 of samples taken from 41 women in five prefectures Radioactive iodine was detected in the breast milk of women in the Fukushima prefecture. Japan's government ordered the suspension of all shipments of bee cattle from Fukushima prefecture on Tuesday. After discovering the cattle fed rice straw containing with high levels of radioactive cesium had been shipped nationwide. The discovery had added the consumer worries over the food safety following the contaminated incidents for vegetables, tea, milk, seafood, and water due to radioactive leaks at the tsunami hit nuclear plant in Fukushima. Japan finds radiation spread over a wide area. This is the Japan Nuclear Security Division. Tokyo. The first comprehensive survey of soil contamination from the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant showed that 33 locations spread over a wide area have been contaminated with long-lasting radioactive cesium. 
the government said on Tuesday. The survey has 2,200 locations within a 100 kilometer, 62 mile radius of the crippled plant. Found that those locations had CCM 137 in excess of 1.48 million becquerels per square meter. 1.48 million becquerels per square meter? The level set by the Soviet Union for a forced resettlement after the 1986 Chernobyl disaster, Japanese authorities said. Another 132 locations had combined amounts of cesium 137 and 134 of more than 550,000 becquerels per square meter. That's a half a million becquerels per square freaking meter. The level which the Soviet authorities called for voluntary evacuation. In the bow of stabilizing earthquake reactors, other summaries from the JIF. Aftershocks battered nuclear power plants, stations, and related facilities in the coastal areas of northeastern Japan were forced to rely on emergency power after electricity was cut in Thursday. Operators had been suspended at all nuclear power plants from Amarani to Aparaki prefectures since the March 11th earthquake and tsunami. But electricity is still crucial to keep their cooling systems operating. Japan's nuclear agency says an external power lines at the Hagashidori nuclear power plant in Amarani Prefecture were knocked in and out in Thursday's quake. The plant switched to emergency diesel power generators for some hours, but power was later restored. The quake shut down three of the four external power lines at the Aganawi nuclear power plant in the Miyagi Prefecture. It is still operating on the one that's remaining. Alpha, asserted Intel bulletins, no forwarding, internal use only. Michael Wilson, director of the Watch Officer Group of Strat 4. Below, please find the techno brief on the impact of mixed oxide fuel, MOX fuel used on accident consequences at the Fukushima Daiichi. The technical brief contains factual information prepared by the ANS Special Committee on Nuclear Nonproliferation. The impact of mixed oxide fuel used on accident consequences at the Fukushima Daiichi American Nuclear Society technical brief. Conclusion Mixed oxide, MOX fuel, has been used safely in nuclear power plant reactors for decades. The presence of a limited number of MOX fuel assemblies at Fukushima Daiichi Unit 3 has not had a significant impact on the ability to cool the reactor or on any reactor releases from the site due to damage from the earthquake and tsunami. Yeah, right. Symbol right there. At least 45 tons of highly radioactive water have leaked from a purification facility at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power station. And some of it may have reached the Pacific Ocean, the plant's operator said. Well, the plant operator saying it may have, and it probably for sure did. Sure did. The whole point of dilution is that it prevents. This is CNN, okay? Ah. <laughs> uh. The whole point of dilution is that it prevents the concentration of radioisotopes in dangerous and significant concentrations. Now, just in radioisotopes is one of the most dangerous ways to expose yourself, so your concern about this case is not unbounded. But agricultural activity can be prohibited on the land to a medically acceptable degree, though potential extent would be important to understand. The ocean is an incredibly capable system for dilution. Oh, really? Look at how the Gulf handled the oil spill in a relatively calm and closed area. Well, we do know they use corrects and they use special things just to push the oil down so people wouldn't see the oil. And we know what happened there. I mean, you're talking about oil, the whole little different ballgame compared to radioactivity from Fukushima. And let me tell you, that oil spill was pretty bad. Actually, the chemicals they used to hide the oil were about 25 times more toxic than the oil themselves. And you can see, I do have a video of that on my YouTube channel about a fisherman who used to love going out in the Gulf, catching fish catching shrimp and he, and he said those shrimp and fish they were like rubber afterwards you know they lost the flavor they lost the taste they lost the fish smell so look at that the bp oil spill cleanup as a case for dilution is just insane nisa says the explosion of the fukushima could only have been caused by a meltdown of the reactor core we will get the truth Red alert, reports of iodine and CCM outside of Fukushima. 
Lisa says the explosion at Fukushima could only have been caused by a meltdown in reactor four. The initial take on the explosion, red alert. These details make it sound like steam. 32-year-old Malaysian-born Eddie Ko E. Leek, who works on the Achi Toll Channel News Asia, witness featured on Japanese news channel CBC, described the smoke as brown. Mr. Ko added that Japanese TV reported four people were injured in the blast. NHK said the walls and the roof of the plant were destroyed. The walls and the roof of the plant were destroyed. NHK. Okay, one thing. A meltdown can happen without an explosion. That was the Three Mile Island incident. Should we make sure that we use the equation of explosion with the meltdown as the media is doing? This could be far worse than just a melt. So, yes, a meltdown. <laughs> yes, there is something worse than a meltdown. A melt through, a melt out, an explosion of those fuel rods up into the air. That's pretty freaking bad. Initial take on explosion, red alert. Yes, at the walls down. This is holy shit bad. Holy shit bad. Holy shit. These details make it sound like more than steam. Yeah, it's a little bit more than steam. Brown smoke. Blown out walls. This could be much far worse than just a meltdown. The explosion tore through the containment vessel since it would expose the melting core to the environment. Well, it's just a contained meltdown is relatively fine. Relatively fine. Basically the difference between Chernobyl and Three Mile Isle. Although, as Peter pointed out, this could be just steam from the valve release. Yeah, right. Although, that would not explain the reports of injuries and explosion sound. Top story. Japan halted all cattle shipments from why we should all be Fukushima Prefecture due to fears that beef tainted dancing on with radiation is reaching the country's supermarkets. The initial take on explosion red alert, still not many details. A blast has been heard and white smoke is spewing out of Japan's Fukushima number one nuclear power plant, sparking fears that the facility may be experiencing nuclear meltdown. Japan's TV footage on Saturday showed smoke billowing from the nuclear site. Located some 250 kilometers, 160 miles northeast of Japanese capital Tokyo. 160 miles northeast of Japanese capital Tokyo. Amid reports that radioactive cesium has been detected in the vicinity of the plant, a press TV correspondent reported several workers have been injured and radioactivity rose 20 fold outside, the report added. Earlier on Saturday, Japanese media outlets reported that cesium has been detected near the Fukushima nuclear plant a strong indication that the facility may be experiencing nuclear meltdown. A meltdown occurs when a severe failure of a nuclear power plant system prevents proper cooling of the reactor core to the extent that a nuclear fuel assembly is. Radiation Toxicity Antidotes The first will be the immediate airborne threat over the next several weeks, depending upon which starting date you use. The day of the first detection of radioactive cesium being airborne or when the helicopter crews from the USS Ronald Reagan were first documented to have been exposed. We can expect the west coast of the US to begin to receive at least minimal fall within 7 to 10 days or possibly on the weekend of March 19th through the 20th. This may mean that by the 1st of April the entire region of North America will have undergone the first round of fallout of exposure. Even if at an undetectable levels in many areas, as the upper air currents repeatedly cycle around the globe over and over again, the stock of radioactive airborne materials will fall out as part of normal rainfall or simply as dust particles. More venting of radioactive particles. I'm just venting, and also this is ultimately my fault, but I have to vent. My frustration that everything Peter touches on an issue turns into controversy. Yes, and in fact, I learned the same thing a long time ago with the person in question. So don't get me wrong. 
It's not like I haven't already developed the intense skepticism about all claims. But in this particular case, I made a mistake that I thought I stopped making a long time ago. Simply unboarding a comment on an analysis to include it in the analysis without sufficiently checking it. Which means that even in the analysis today that was supposed to be error free and a bit of recovery from what went on earlier, we still had an error and I knew better. Anyway, I'm dropping it now. Marco, your points are all spot on. We should have been called off the reactor shit sooner. And we should have had more volunteer support from people. Also, I want to note the following. You and Kevin carried the torch heavily in the beginning of the new crisis. And it enabled me to go. Wonderful. Highly radioactive water entering underground tunnels extending beyond the reactors. My first question is, where do they lead? My second is, can they not be closed? Robert Ryan Frank, Straffer, nuclear engineer. Significant water contamination in Japan, U.S. experts. Washington, March 28th, Reuters. Groundwater reservoirs and seawater around Japan's earthquake damaged nuclear plant face significant contamination from high levels of radiation leaking from the plant. A worrying development that heightens potential health risk in the region. Nuclear environmental scientists in the United States darkened their assessments of the risks marked on Monday after operators at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. More venting in radioactive particles. Yeah, that is generally well understood. I have worked under Peter more intensely than anyone else and have learned to trust absolutely nothing he writes. I have fact check. It's just that you never know. Sometimes he'll pull a nugget of intelligence unrivaled and unparalleled on the planet from his left nut. But if you assume that everything is such a nugget, you are left writing apology letters. Although in the case, nobody above Peter, said Roger and George, ever tried to tame the impulse or curb or foray into nuclear physics. I generally have a very high opinion of myself, and I do think I can become an expert on any subject faster than most people. But nuclear physics? Really? In a few hours? Come on. We should have just put a stop on that immediately. We should have gone to a real crisis event mode, not this bullshit Matt Marco covering. Red alert. Analytical intelligence comments. Nuclear meltdown at the quake damaged Japanese plant. Dear Marco, thanks for your quick feedback. After looking at the video, I agree that the plume does not at all appear controlled. However, even when shut down, both the primary and secondary cooling systems are under extreme pressure for days after the shutdown. If a weakness in the steam lines caused by the quake caused a rupture in the steam lines, thousands of gallons of pressurized water would instantly flash to steam creating a white plume, such as one coming out of the plant. Such a rupture could provide sufficient strength to knock down a wall. Because this release is coming out of the building so quickly, the likely culprit is secondary steam system. And that is a major secondary steam line rupture caused it. Secondary containment is typically not as well defined as that of primary containment and would allow steam to escape more quickly. Therefore, more venting and radioactive attitude this is obviously confidential. I agree, of course, with that one thing, with what I am saying, is that it's not really volunteer support we should have gotten. Can we really rely on just the goodness of people for support? We need a firm hand from above to say, guys, this is big. We need teams A, B, C, and D. Otherwise, it's not a crisis event. It's just Matt and his East Asia team are staying up all weekend event. And yeah, Matt, it went with no question that we would help you. Even if it wasn't the horrific case of your friend's father dying, we would have done that. Because we understand what a crisis event means. Apparently a lot of other people don't. I had one analyst complain today about pulling a four hour shift. I mean, shut the fuck up. Yes, and in fact, I learned the same thing a long time ago with the person in question. So don't get me wrong. Japanese reactor container breached. Red alert. The Egyptian military's options relay a special topic page. The Japanese disaster. Full coverage. As the crisis continues with Japan's Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant, a variety of Stratford nuclear science and engineering sources said Japanese government statements that the troubled Unit 1 reactor container had not been breached are highly dubious. Reports of iodine and cesium outside the plant.
ban food, government seeking voluntary ban on compost and humus. Japan's government is calling on farmers not to use or sell compost and humus made in the east of the country since the start of the Fukushima nuclear crisis. Radioactive cesium exceeding the government's permissible levels have been found in rice straw sold by dealers in Miyagi and other prefectures. The Agriculture Ministry wants a voluntary ban on the use and sale of compost made of manure from cows that may have been fed the contaminated straw. The measure also applies to humus from fallen leaves. The Ministry says the ban should continue so it draws up guidelines for levels of radioactive cesium and compost. Japan, radiation seawater may be spreading in Japan. Radiation seawater may be spreading in Japan, you and your giant reps at 150. Can we get rid of the underline? Seeing as we repped it earlier, Japan, workers began water removal at the Fukushima power plant. Japan began pumping out radioactive water inside several buildings to enable work on the plant's regular cooling system. Nuclear safety officials said, AP reported on March 28th, contaminated water in Unit 2 tested approximately 100,000 times normal radiation amounts. Presence of iodine cesium indicate damaged fuel rods were the source of the radioactive levels. The pressure inside the reactors. China, Japan, Australia. China to continue its import ban on milk powder from Japan. China to continue import ban on milk powder from Japan. Text report reporting English by official Chinese news agency. Xianhua, New China News Agency, Beijing. China has banned milk powder imported from Japan since last year. The country's quality watchdog said on Wednesday after radioactive cesium was found in baby formula produced by a major Japanese food company. The import ban, which was imposed April last year after the outbreak of the foot and mouth disease in cattle in Japan. Now you think about the foot and mouth disease because these cattle were exposed to high levels of radioactivity, which likely lowered their immune system and allowed them to pick up the foot and mouth disease much more easily. Japan, Russia. Fukushima advances into Russia. The day after tomorrow, radioactive winds will sweep over Russia's far east region. by Zanya Yelanova, Japanese experts still not have exact data on the radiation level. Meanwhile, Rostromet, Russian Hydrometeorology and Environmental Monitoring Service, estimated that winds will begin traveling from Japan to Russia in a few days. Experts warn that the situation is very worrisome. A cataclysms at the Japanese nuclear power plants are becoming systematic and very dangerous in nature. Vladimir Shikolov Laboratory director at the Kirshiratov Institute of the National Research Center told Trud, It is already absolutely clear the accidents will continue. The question is, what will be the scale? But today is not yet the time to make predictions. BBC monitoring alert, Japan radioactive materials found in kids' urine poses no health risk, Japanese minister. Radioactive materials found in kids' urine, they're pissing out radioactive debris. But don't worry, the Japanese health minister says it's just fine. Text is report in English by Japan's largest news agency, the Kyoto. Education and Science Minister Yoshiaki Takiga on Friday downplay concerns about trace elements of radioactive substances found in urine samples of children from Fukushima Prefecture, saying the amounts pose no health problem. Really? Total internal radiation exposure for children until they reach 70 years of age would be in the highest cases. 7.8 microsieverts of radioactive cesium-134 and 8.9 microsieverts of cesium-137. Japan. Radioactive contamination in animals reported in Fukushima. The number of cows raised in Fukushima Prefecture that have been newly detected as contaminated radioactive cesium has reached 9. 
Local Japanese authorities are trying to cleanse Fukushima of radiation. Local governments in the Fukushima prefecture are experimenting with efforts to remove radioactive material spread from the crippled nuclear power plant following a request by the national government. In August, the national government asked the local government to handle the contamination work and earn 20 millisieverts of radiation per year. Japanese firm mules releasing low-level radioactive water in the Pacific Ocean. So a firm has been hired to release the radioactive material into the ocean. This is reported from the largest Japanese news agency, the Kyoto. Tokyo, 8th of December. Tokyo Electric Power Company said Thursday it is considering releasing into the Pacific Ocean low levels of radioactive water. I mean, you know what low level really means anymore. This water was stored in the tanks at the premises of its crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant as storage capacity may run short by next March. We do know that their ALP system is supposed to remove all these isotopes. It broke down. So it's likely that it was a high level of radioactive release that was permitted into the ocean. I bet you right now ALPS is not working. It's probably still down six years later. I'm just venting. And also this is also my fault. But I have to vent my frustration everything Peter touches on this issue turns into controversy. The part of the article he's complaining about I already knew, but I incorporated one of Peter's comments into the piece without due diligence, so I'm to blame, but fucking shit, it pisses me off. I just want to call attention to this trend which we saw emerging today. Essentially some ships are refusing to dock at Japanese ports in Tokyo Bay because of radiation. Meanwhile a Japanese ship was given trouble docking in China due to radiation. Since we are hearing worsening news from the reactors suggesting greater radiation release, there could be more traces of radiation on ships and more reason for foreign states to steer clear. This could become a big problem for Japan and if it worsens, but of course, it all depends on radiation leakage, dispersion, and foreign companies and government's decisions. So for now, this is just something to watch. In other news, now that the 15 ports in the devastated area are open, relief workers who go near the site could also get contaminated, as happened to the USS Ronald Reagan crew earlier in the crisis. Notice also that authorities warn people in the 20 kilometer zone to move. As the crisis continues with the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant, a variety of Stratford nuclear science and engineering sources said that the troubled Unit 1 reactor container has not been breached or highly contradictory and dubious. Ports of iodine and cesium outside of the plant. Indicating that the containment had been breached. Iodine is the fuel pins and cesium is a particulate, meaning there are heavy particles in the air, which are basically radioactive dust. More venting of radioactive particles. Haha! -ha. I like how you signed off on that one. Almost. I'm wondering why more people have not offered to help during this crisis. If this is a crisis event, why then didn't we fully mobilize? What does a crisis event mean? You and I working around the clock on a weekend, how is that a crisis? If this is a crisis event, then let's get a radiation team, a weather pattern team, and a nuclear engineering team going, contracting sor sources instead. We expected Matt and Marco to become nuclear experts in hours, with Peter floating in from above once a day to write a piece filled with physicist wisdom. I'm just venting and all this is also my fault. Workers at the Fukushima power plant began pumping out radioactive water inside several buildings to enable work at the plant's regular cooling system. Contaminated water unit 2 tested approximately 100,000 times normal. The presence of iodine and cesium indicate damaged fuel rods were the source of the radiation levels, but pressure inside the reactors was stable. Meaning meltdown was only partial, a TEPS TEPCO spokesman said. Analytical intelligence comments, red alert, nuclear meltdown, a quake and damage Japanese planned away. Dear Mr. Fields, thank you very much for your analysis of the situation. We agree with your assessment that there are benefits to the pressurized water reactors that you describe in your message. We agree with your assessment that a meltdown is not necessarily the worst thing that can happen in this situation. However, how does one then explain the explosion at the plant that occurred in the last hour? You can see the video attached to the analysis. 
Look at the sidebar on the right that reads footage of Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. It does not appear that there is a controlled release of steam. Your thoughts are highly appreciated. Sincerely, Marco. Japanese Asia Pacific. Serious nuclear contamination in Japan. Pyongyang. Nuclear contamination is getting serious in Japan. Making trouble. Incinerator dust and ash with too much radioactive cesium to allow it to be buried has been found at 42 facilities in Tokyo, Chiba, Awadi, and three other prefectures, as well as Fukushima. The environmental ministry said on Saturday, Meanwhile, a small amount of radioactive cesium was detected in raw rice in Nihon Mayutsu, some 60 kilometers from the crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. Japan Nuclear Security Japan Disaster Plant Cold shutdown could face delay. Japan Disaster Plant Tokyo Electric Power Company said on Wednesday that it may fail in its bid to achieve a cold shutdown. At a tsunami hit nuclear plant Fukushima, efforts to decontaminate highly radioactive water at the facility have been delayed by repeated breakdowns of cesium absorption instruments, which have caused water leakage and malfunctioning of pumps, threatening to delay the process of stabilizing the stricken plant. It's possible that decontamination may not be completed as planned by the year end, although we have not yet decided to change that target. This could also affect the cold shutdown process, a company spokesman told Reuters. TEPCO detects possible nuclear fission. Tokyo Electric Power Company detected signs of possible nuclear fission at its crippled Fukushima atomic power plant in northern Japan, raising the risk of more radiation leaks. The company known as TEPCO began spraying boric acid on the number two reactor at 2.48 a.m. Japan Times an attempt to prevent accidental chain reaction. TEPCO said it may have found xenon, which is associated with nuclear fission, while examining gases taken from the reactor, according to an emailed statement. The amount of detected xenon is very small and results of the utility's analysis may be wrong, said Hariyaki Yusiyami, a spokesman for TEPCO. No significant changes in temperatures and pressures of the reactor. So xenon detects fission. Japan breached a reactor container as the crisis continues with the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. Japanese officials issued broad evacuation orders on Saturday for people living near two nuclear power plants whose cooling systems broke down as a result of the earthquake. The officials warned that small amounts of radioactive material were likely to leak from the plant. Update on Los Alamos. Officials, don't worry about it. Everyone else, we're worried about it. Los Alamos officials seek to calm wildfire fears. Officials at a nuclear weapons laboratory in New Mexico worried that a nearby wildfire could cause radioactive material held on site to be released into the air, the Los Angeles Times reported on Wednesday. Meltdowns caused nuke plant explosion. Safety body NISA is in charge of the entire response. Also, they've contradicted Edina already. He said radiation was falling and they said it was rising earlier Saturday. Blatant contradiction, which was noted in our report when discussing mixed messages. This is the bureaucracy challenging the DPJ, rural government, on how to respond on 312 of 2011. Also, does NISA monitor the site, or is this the assessment from afar? Japan Food Nuclear Fishmen worry of the rumor mill, where a lack of information could lead to doubts about seafood safety. Japanese fishermen are facing a severely uphill battle. Is even greater transparency and the information available will likely be insufficient to restore confidence in their catches on a relevant time frame. Oh, you can't sell your radioactive fish? Too bad. Don't worry, it's people, stupid people in the United States that will eat it. Plenty of them. Not everybody, but plenty. The Emory Shimbum. Local fishermen have reiterated concerns that rumors about contaminated seawater could harm their business. Yeah, it could harm your heart as well. After it was confirmed Saturday that highly radioactive water was leaking to sea from the pit at the Fukushima number one power plant. A Fukushima nuclear accident primer, the continuity and crisis management implications of an aging design, the full consequences of the ongoing crisis at the Fukushima nuclear power plant are still being publicly explored, even as the Japanese government researches assistance that has contained the radiological danger, which was characterized as minor during the weekend of March 11th. Minor, minor danger, not major danger, minor danger. 
Ali knew information about the extent of the damage being released, all of it, pointing to a growing awareness of the seriousness of the disaster. This article will not explore the mitigation that is now required for the accident, but will focus on the technical specifics of the Fukushima reactor design that have much broader implications for business and municipalities located near plants of this type. Since upwards of 20 such reactors are active in the United States and more in Europe and Asia, risk management and risk intelligence professionals will want to be able to answer senior management questions. Japan Food Nuclear Abaraki fish to be checked. Down corner from the nuclear plant. The fisheries ministry will tighten inspections of marine products caused off Ibaraki prefecture, which is down current from where water containing radioactive material from a crisis riddled nuclear power plant is being dumped into the sea, the minister said on Tuesday. Agriculture, Forestry and Fisheries Minister Michiko Kano also said Tokyo Electric Power are facing a severely uphill battle as even greater transparency and information availability will likely be insufficient to restore confidence in their catches. Japan's impending problems after the earthquake Japan's government confirms meltdown Japan continues to struggle to contain problems at several nuclear reactors damaged by the March 10th earthquake. Several including the ones at Danini and there has yet to be a sign of widespread panic in the country as worldwide aid is poured into the country. However, the nuclear aspect of Japan's recovery process will have a transformative impact on the country as well as worldwide ramifications. Worldwide ramifications. That's right, the radioactivity does not stay in Japan. Nisa says explosions at the Fukushima could only have been caused by meltdown of the reactor core. Red alert, reports of iodine and cesium outside of Fukushima suggest the reactor's containment structure has exploded. Meltdowns caused nuclear explosions. He said radiation was falling, and they said it was rising. Blatant contradiction, which we noted in our report when discussing mixed messages. This is the bureaucracy. Fukushima reactor cover blows up. Be cautious of the word meltdown. There is a specific technical meaning as well as the psychological impact of the word. Fukushima reactor cover blows up. Oh I know, we've been through this. We've used scare quotes and it hadn't been typing fast and by the way yesterday it was the Japanese government using the word, at least as translated by their English media arms. Be cautious of the word meltdown. There is a specific technical meaning as well as the psychological impact of the word. Use it not from the reporter's interpretation, but only use that word if it is officially by their nuke agency or by the appropriate government official. So don't say meltdown, guys. Don't tell the truth. We'll call it, um, we'll call it grilled. Yes, Fukushima had a grill, a grill out. For your information, here were my comments at the time. Release just there's a problem with the facility's automatic shutdown. It's the cooling systems and emergency batteries and coolant are being continuously flown into the plant to prevent any degradation of the situation. The reactors are off. The decay of the fuel inside is still emitting heat, building the pressure. The cooling systems are steam driven, but don't have power supply right now. So batteries cooling are being flown in as you say. It is reported getting some power. CNN breaking news. This may deserve an update tomorrow. There's another supply chain that is very important. It has nothing to do with autos or electronics. It's the food chain. The dilution solution pro-offered by many doesn't really hold water in my view, since the radioactive material being released are heavily concentrated near the shoreline, where most of the marine life lives. Cesium with its half-life at 30 years, therefore threatens to bioaccumulate up to the region's trophic levels with devastating effect. It could sterilize or wipe out a trophic level, casting the ecosystem and its population dynamics into chaos. Japanese nuclear agency provisionally raises the threat level from a restriction power plant from a 5 to a 7, the most severe category. So 7 is the most severe, but really, it's more severe than a 7. They haven't experienced anything like Fukushima. So if you put on a category scale, they're going to have to increase the scale, create a new category for what Fukushima is to our environment. You can ignore Fukushima. But Fukushima is not going to ignore you.
We have a dire situation in Japan. We're looking for fast comments and an update on the situation in Japan remains dire. After the 9.0 magnitude Tohoku earthquake on March 11th, Prime Minister Nanto Khan has declared the disaster the worst since World War II. It has called for national unity to survive the crisis and to build a new Japan. Khan has also raised the size of the Japanese self-defense forces response to 100,000 troops, equal to about 40% of the active force. Rolling blackouts will be instituted on Monday in order to ensure electrical supply, which means that much of northern Japan, including Tokyo, will accept daily three-hour shifts of power shortage. Japan Energy, Toshiba, develops nuclear decontamination system to decontaminate radioactive wastewater at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant from early August. The system, nicknamed Sari, which Sari <laughs> was shown to media at a plant at Yokohama on Thursday, consists of a series of 14 tanks, each 1.4 meters wide and 3.6 meters high. Minerals put inside the tanks are to absorb radioactive cesium and strontium and reduce levels of radioactivity in contaminated water by a factor of about 1 million, or so they say. The decontamination system in place at the Fukushima plant since June has been accident prone. So it's not really working. They're saying it's a 73% capacity, but uh, they say 73, it's probably 23. This new equipment is expected to be used in parallel with or as a supplement to the existing one. Accident prone because the radiation just tears right through the unit. And then once it does collect the radiation, they have to put it somewhere. And it's probably going in the water. Japan nuclear security. More high radiation spots found levels of 5 and 10 sievers detected near pipe at number 1 nuclear reactor. More high radiation spots found. Levels of 5 and 10 sievers detected near pipe at number 1 nuclear reactor. Extremely high levels of radiation have been detected at two more locations near a pipe. The revelation was made Tuesday, the day after 10 sievers, 10,000 millisieverts per hour was detected on the pipe. Full body exposure to 10 sieverts of radiation is almost certainly lethal to humans. According to Tuesday's announcement, radiation levels in excess of 10 sieverts and 5 sieverts per hour were detected near the pipe at the number one. Professor Hui Yongju from the QUT Chemistry with the titanate nanofiber that can remove radioactive material from contaminated water. Good luck with that. Japan consumers hoarding last year's rice due to radiation worries. Consumers are beginning to hoard last year's rice as their dietary staple over concerns that freshly harvested rice may be contaminated with radioactive material. Japan to refrain from claiming safety of Japanese foods. Japanese Foreign Minister Takayaki Matsumoto has instructed his ministry to refrain from claiming the safety of Japanese foods, changing his stance after radiation containing beef was found to have been sold to consumers in Japan. The change is due to discoveries of radiation contaminated meat from the cattle fed rice straw laden with radioactive cesium spewed from the fukus. BBC monitoring alert Japan. Japan firm struggling to restart water treatment system at nuclear plant. Tokyo TEPCO continued struggling Monday to figure out how to cope with difficulties in operating a newly installed water treatment system at its troubled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. Meltdown may be in progress at Fukushima number one nuke plant. 